Last time we left off, the party was looking into, uh, from rumor, of a thief named Alistar, uh, of that a noble named Marcus was a Lockwood, which is effectively just the equivalent to a druidic clone of somebody using a wooden body and some very, very convincing, almost borderline Fallout 4 synth-esque style magic. Uh, and... Of course, they found what they could. Uh, they had some funny moments. They talked about Billy the Bass, you know. A uh, Trimp. Trimp happened. You love to hear it. You trimp. love Trimp. And, we love Trimp. And our good friend Naomi is turning 14. That's right. She's turning 14. 14. The big yeah. one four. We love the one and the four. We love one and we love four. We don't love Naomi. Emergency rations. <laughs> we don't. Lo- no, that's wrong. That's wrong. That is incorrect. You're spreading false information. I love spreading misinformation. I love spreading information on the ret. I love spelling misinformation. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm spreading f- false information Mission. on the internet. Why are you doing that? Because it's fun. Because it's fun. Because it's fun. <laughs> Based dog, by the way. Based dog, by the way. Wait, Riley, hold on. Yeah. I'm so sorry, but they made another Dark Pictures Anthology game? Wait, wait, how recent? What? Oh, no. The recording. We need to restart it again. It says fucking... Hold on. Oh, The Devil in Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that came out a couple months back. Like, one or two months back. Yeah, it says November. November. I don't know about it yet. Uh, I haven't watched any playthroughs, so. I play through these nuts, too. It's 40 fucking dollars, so. Yeah, guess who should buy it? You wouldn't be able to run it. Yo, guess what we can run? D&D. D&D. You need that reminds me of this yeah. very powerful podcast. No, 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 no it yeah. I can run it. Anyways, uh, yeah. So they basically they bought out uh, a Gillies, which is the basically this world's equivalent to Captain D's or Long John Silver's. Captain D's nuts. Just... No, 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 keep going. Uh. And they are basically going to get try to get Marcus to make the food for the occasion so that they can either capture him Before. or follow him back home. Something like that. Cue the, cue the pipe falling noise. Cue birthday music. I would I would just load up pipe falling on my uh on my Opera GX, but I have the audio plugin now, so all all it's being captured is my mic and Discord. That's so funny. Oh, we're not being heard. No, you guys are being heard. It's capturing Discord. He said Discord. Oh, Discord. What you think he said? This whore. Uh huh. <laughs> this whore. No, nah, I know. I'm messing with you. I just forgot he said Discord. My brain. Wait, Riley, are you talking about me, bro? What? Uh, 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 uh. Patience, what do you mean by that, Duck? What do you What do you mean? What do I mean? You know exactly what I mean. No, what I, I fucking do not. Yeah, you do. What do you mean? I know what you're talking well, Logan, about. I have Lo- no Logan idea. thought you said dis whore, so I so no, I said, I said that as a joke. You were labeling yourself as a whore in this situ- uh, in, in this situation. Fuck. Yeah, you're right. It's so easy. Dang. Anyway, yeah. The agreed upon story by the party and Alistar is that Alistar and uh, Oresha are the disgruntled uh, aunt and uncle. Uh, Arius is the godfather, and. Uh, so is Heinrich. Heinrich, yeah. Oh, no, Heinrich is the godfather. So, no, Heinrich is the. My brain isn't working. Heinrich oh, is the yeah. guardian. Guardian, yeah. Basically, the Guardian are like, because Naomi adopted, uh, you know, and Karius is the Godfather. Yeah. So. All right, then. <laughs> Time to start this birthday party, baby. 
I love, I love birthday. Morph Day Party. Morph Day. Let me do it for you. Let me do it for you. Warp, Shut warp, the fuck warp, up, warp, dude. Warp, 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 warp. You wouldn't get it. It's like you, you wouldn't get it. Yeah, you're right. I wouldn't. You wouldn't get it, bro. I already get it. Shut up. Shut up. I don't what do you care. Mean? Leave me alone. You don't care. Plus, didn't ask. Plus, shut up. Plus, balding. Plus, balding. Plus, molding. Anyways. Anyway. You guys wait for the time to pass. Getting uh, Russia can just shift, so it doesn't matter. And Alistar can as well. <laughs> But you guys get a little prettied up. You you get you know showers <clears throat> and everything like that. So you're not as disgruntled looking as you have been for the past month. And for those showers, minus fifty gold. Yeah, sorry, I don't. Sorry, you don't have to pay for being cleansely. You just have to take a shower, in numbskull. The water bill. Yeah, you kind of do. Uh, you wish. The water bill isn't real. If the water bill was real, I'd know. Because I eat water. Numbskull. You eat ice? I eat ice I and was... I eat a couple other things. I was wondering why I wasn't hearing voices. Do you voices. eat the skin I of infant babies? babies? <laughs> anyway. I skin infant babies, skin infant babies, skin infant babies. You can't say that on the uh, Spotify. Yes, I can. I don't, don't do skin that. infant babies because I'm not allowed to. I'm the only can't, reason that Riley no, isn't doing that. I can't skin infant babies. Yeah, Doug doesn't allow me to skin infant babies on days like this. <laughs> on days like this, kids like you. Kids like you should be skinned. Nope. Anyway. The Yak Stauber is playing. Uh, but as you guys let like, time play, uh, time uh, fly, and eventually it's birthday party. The the Gillies is mostly decorated. It's empty besides a couple of people who are in a more private area and everything. There's some uh, birthday illusions, i.e. like the illusion of a birthday cake. What basically balloons don't, don't exist yet, so, you know. Uh, but there are the birthday holograms and illusions. Oh my god, hologram Fetty Fazbear! There's a party, the most important part is there is a party hat on Billy the Bass. That is the most oh, important part. They went to that, they went to that length. How nice. They look Hell really yeah, nice. dude. Billy needs. Naomi, how are you enjoying your 14th birthday? She doesn't say anything. Naomi <laughs> is <laughs> sullen. <laughs> Better yet, where's that Marcus fella? I'm sure he'll arrive soon. Yeah, I'd better hope so. It costed us 20 gold. Could have also, I'm just gonna say now, I swear to God, if this was a waste of my fucking money, I'll kill you. You can have my part of the pay. I wish the cake was real. I wish the cake was real. The cake is a lie. No! Oh, that's like a reference. I wish the cake was real. Oh my, it's like they made an entire game about this. Yes, the point well, of Portal was not like crowd. Funny Robot Woman. It was all the yeah. cake is a lie. Yes, Gabe exactly. Newell, Gabe and... Newell was upset that he didn't get cake, and he was like, I'm going to make a game about the feeling of not getting cake. <laughs> I'm going to make a game about not getting cake. Yep. Gabe Newell did not make the game. A Q, Q, Q nerd emoji. Gabe Newell made the game, what do you Brat. mean? He wanted cake, so he made the game. True. He made a game so that he could afford cake. Anyway. That's why he made Valve. Anyway. So. How has oh, your days been? It's been alright. <laughs> kind of eyes that? down the, the all-you-can-eat crab-like bucket. <laughs> Did you keep Wait, what kind of get-ups are we in right now? Um, you guys describe that yourselves. That's up to you. Oh, that that uh, is a good question. Heinrich has bought himself a nice button-up shirt, overalls, and some slack pants. 
It obviously costed him extra because they're in size that... You know, they're actually, no, it didn't size. cost him extra. He just had to get Goliath sized. It's crazy once. how Heinrich actually is wearing green pants, you know, a white shirt. Wearing he, glasses. He's wearing, like, a classic dad stuff. No, he's he's Peter Griffin. Sorry, Heinrich's Peter he's Griffin Peter now. Griffin. He also has a he, he has a daughter named. Ma oh my god! Uh, no, it doesn't go with the H's. Doesn't go with the H's. Sorry. Every no. person in Heinrich's family has to have an H, except the person you're marrying. Anyway, uh, who wants to describe their outfit next? Does the birthday girl want to want to explain her outfit? What's the birthday girl wearing? What's the birthday yeah, girl wearing? Yeah, what's the birthday girl wearing? What are you wearing, birthday girl? Naomi. Her regular clothing. <laughs> regular clothing. Naomi is so unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> like Arusha and Arusha Star have probably been talking Arusha's a little bit here and wearing... there, and everyone's getting ready, and just Naomi yeah. is just oh. Like 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 a very um disgruntled teenager. Teenager vibes. Naomi Naomi dressed like an inkling. Oh, inkling! No, she dude. looks like Split Tim. Split Tim. Yeah, you, you, Who's you Tim? Know, like, you know, like the hip clothes that the inklings wear. Yeah, put that. Yeah, she puts that shit on. So therefore, she looks like she's like eighty, like three billion years in the future. Eight point six billion. That's crazy. I guess I would be wearing where... like mostly commoner clothes, maybe like a little bit of stuff that shows like some kind of military ranking. I don't know, just something that's like fought in the military, but besides that, just normal things. It's weird without the armor. Ooh, and maybe or like... she's probably wearing like a bit like not necessarily like commoner clothes but like more like middle class like low class noble middle i guess middle class would make more sense for this yeah yeah middle class upper middle yeah. class yeah i'd probably yeah, be upper like middle, middle class. class and maybe like in like the back of my shirt i'm trying to hide like my sword back there in case if anything goes south oh it's gonna go south we're killing this mf now i'm kidding no don't do also, that also i just like to keep track of my sword so i'm like hiding it in my sh I, to get in my shirt I really need to get proficiency in Arcana. So yeah, that's that's what I'm wearing. Pokers. Uh, Alistar is dressed a bit better than the people doing me. He he does have some noble clothing, which is clearly fucking stolen, as it's a little bit not his size. <laughs> a little bit not his size. Like the sleeves of like like of like the robe and such he has on are like they they go a little. They cover a good bit of the first bit of his hand. Like you can see his fingers sticking out. Know? Like like a kid who has clothes slightly too long for them. Oh, I'm not even gonna lie. I liked oversized clothes. Everything that requires like a belt, or whatever, is actually properly fitted because you know how a belt works. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, his hair is still tied in a bun, but it's more towards the back of his head. Uh, nothing else is different about him, though. He just kind of naturally looks a slightly disgruntled. That's just his disposition. Yippee. That's just that's just his. That's just him. You know, I, you know, I know. I told you guys, you know, the war is what caused Rin to have like the mile, like you know, the thousand mile stare, but it also kind of runs in the family. Everyone in that family yeah, just kind of looks runs fucking in the family. mad. Wait, I don't think we ever learned that this guy was related to Rin. That's crazy. I think I, I can't what? believe we just got a spoiler. That's crazy. For free. For free, Whoa. guys. For free. Spoiler at a free cost. Satisfactory. Let's go. Yeah, I think this Easy. would have been a big relevation. It is. It is. It is. How is this a big relevation? I told you I'd have descendants. You mean revelation? Yeah, I feel like you mean revelation. I rescind everything up to the past revolution. two minutes. I think you mean revolution. Yeah, well, you can just cut that out. Just cut that out post. -time. I am not going into yeah, yeah, the yeah, editing yeah. program. I don't feel like it. 
<laughs> he's not gonna edit chat room. Ah, fuck it, I'm he's too overall. lazy. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. Overall. Fuck it, we ball. We ball. We ball. We chill. We ball. We chill. We ball. We chill. Y'all won't get it. Oh, Rush is gonna look out the window. <laughs> Wistfully looking at the window, like, man, I wish our Dresden was here. True. The Dresden. But also looking for Marcus to see if he's actually approaching or not. Is Marcus arriving? My water bottle is making a strange noise. What? What? The, what? Is it the alka? Is it the alkaline infused water? That no, made? I don't know where that is. Actually, I don't know where I hey, put quick, that. A hey, quick question. Um, what kind of food do they provide for the party? So, like a catering table, or uh, it's seafood. It's kind of like a. It's honestly, it's kind of just a buffet. I mean, I already plate, stolen all the crab legs. Shrimp. Trimp, smiley face. Scrimp. Naomi has a big plate of trimp and has only eaten one. That's how upset she is. Aren't you going to eat the rest of your shrimp? Her little tummy can't handle it. She. <laughs> it's like that. It's like that one song. How many shrimps do you have to eat before you make your skin turn pink? Your skin turn pink. Eat too much and you'll get sick. And you'll get Shrimps sick. Shrimps are pretty yeah, rich. Pretty rich. Anyway. It's making the noise. Anyway. I'm having a lot of It's Is Marcus approaching the area? Explosion and right yeah, is he room. coming in? Yeah, he's coming. Uh-huh, is he on? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Rob's eyes, huh? Is he arriving? I'm I'm getting good at catching these food tins. He's throwing Oh, he's look, he's throwing another one. Guys, I just did it such a good Logan impression. So true. Uh anyways. <laughs> what the fuck what the was fuck that? Was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Logan's gone Try to do a good guys. impression of that now. Yeah, watch this. <laughs> Logan turned goofy, guys. Goofy ass man, holy Any shit. Anywhere is Marcus approaching the area. Uh, as you guys are staring at ever. the window, you're looking the wrong direction as Marcus is bringing the cake out from the kitchen. Oh. It is, it, it is, it is a proper cake. Like it is, it's not just a big crab. The other, there is the big crab. They are bringing out a big crab. Big crab. Big crab. <laughs> big crab. Big crab. Yeah, they're bringing out big crab though. And the two Heinrich um, looking on in awe at the crab. The crab is roughly the size of a small Ow. dog. Delicious. Uh, to describe Marcus, oh. he. Is he looks a little old, uh, not too old, but more so. We see a couple of gray hairs. His hair is somewhat longer, going a bit down to his back, but it's like uh, mainly managed into somewhat of a uh, long ponytail. Uh, he's clearly an elf of sorts uh, and has these sort of odd, almost yellow, like yellow in the dark eyes that sort of something. The yellow you'd see in the dark whenever you see a predator. And mm. and is mostly well groomed. You don't see a, like a hair on his face that isn't either groomed or it's just you know isn't there because it's been cut. He puts the cake down and with a simple smile, smile says, Fuck. "I slipped straight into the accent saying smile." <laughs> Goddamn, smile, smile. smiley uh -huh. face. Uh, Frowny face. <laughs> Frowny face. Frowny mm. face. Mm. Evil smiley face. <laughs> what does evil smiley face mean? Look in general, I'm <laughs> gonna make evil smiley face. I'm gonna beat oh, him no. to it. I'm gonna beat him to it. I'm gonna use the, my built-in. That's, e that's evil. That's evil smiley face. That's in memes. memes. That's in memes. Accidentally. Sorry, I thought that was in chat. That's no, so that's in memes. He puts his hand together, uh, his hands together, uh, before he speaks. Is everybody ready to sing the birthday song? Yes, we're. Yeah. 
Yeah. Did you still not arrive yet for the birthday song? How mean. No, this is Marcus. This is Marcus. Oh, he's here. Yeah, this is Marcus. 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 Also, while he's saying this, can I look at him with my magic eye? You can. Do he I have to make seems... an arcana check? He seems... Well, you can, yes. Okay, time to make an arcana check. Four. Fuck, that's a three. <laughs> three. I mean, he just looks like the average elf with a little bit of elven magic. Oresh is just going to stare at him for a little bit and then just, like, sort of nod. They, the candles are made from hollowed-out crab legs. Like, they've been, like, morphed together. So it's, like, the shittiest wow. 14 you've seen out of crab legs. <laughs> They're hollowed out, so there's no, like, crab on the cake, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and they begin to sing the birthday song. Uh, legally, I cannot sing Happy Birthday. It is a copyrighted yeah, you material. What do you no, you can. Yeah, you can. You just have what? to say, and evermore afterwards. The, are, do you guys consent to singing Happy Birthday? No, no I do not. <laughs> oh, you guys don't want to see that? Y'all are cringe. Dude. It's <laughs> nobody's birthday. Well, it looks like the pussy list just got bigger. Yeah, I'm gonna pussy list this girl. <laughs> Don't you dare do the jo the Seth Rogen laugh. No. <laughs> uh, 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 no, that's not even right. Lewis. Hello, Lewis. Lewis. Hello. Lewis. Uh, Lewis. Anyway, insert birthday song here. Yeah. Happy birthday. Naomi, can you describe your intense look of annoyance? Describe it? Yeah, describe the look Naomi is giving. Um, so, like, basically, oh, imagine you're in, like, a math class, right? And, like, you're sitting there and trying to do a really hard thing, but then there's, like, two kids near the other side of the room that keep talking, and eventually they just start getting really, really loud. And, like, that face you make when you're mad at them is that one. Yeah. <laughs> I That's know exactly specific. what that face is. I've made that face so many times. This is normal for Naomi. This is not normal for Naomi. Why is she like this? The world may never know. Uh, anyways, it, the, the world may never know. It ends, and the cake is being cut. The big crab is pretty much a have at it. I am so oh. tempted to do something right now. I I'm so tempted to walk up behind it. him and hit him over the head with a lead pipe. No, I was going to cast a funny spell called... Wait, let me double check what this requires. Ooh! Um, it's called Mind Spike. Okay. Ooh. Basically, it does, like, psychic damage, and as long as I keep concentration, I always know where he is. Is oh. there a save or anything? Let me double check. It's a four It's a wisdom save. Wisdom save? All right. Let me go roll oh. this. That's such Wait, a good no, I idea. I haven't cast it yet. I'm thinking about it. Thinking okay. I think you should cast it. He's Wait, would he know that you casted it on him? Uh, the only or would he, he just be like, oh it's, it, it, oh, it's a headache? Well, no, the only reason he would know if it was me, if he saw me, like, do the hand gesture to cast it. To be fair, you could easily hide the hand gesture. Yeah, yeah it's just... only somatic. Oh, it's only somatic? Pog. Yeah. So, yeah. Cast... Taking this perfect opportunity, oh, he's sitting down, eating into that cake at his most vulnerable point. I'm gonna cast Mind Spike. He's gotta make a wisdom save of 14. Wisdom save of 14. Oh, knowing Riley's character, that's pretty easy for this man. He does not, not pass. Be bad. He does not pass. Oh That's crazy. Right. Perfect. Wait, what, what so is, I'm gonna what is his wisdom save? He doesn't have a plus to it. It's just a zero. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So now I always know his location in, unless if he somehow shifts into another plane of existence. Mm -hmm. Even if he's invisible, he doesn't gain any of the conditions against me, specifically. 
I know him beyond the line of sight, and he takes 4d8 psychic damage. Okay, let me roll the psychic damage. He would suffer a oh, major... Here, I'll tell you, you have to roll it, Vlad, my brain. All right, he that suffers is... a major headache. 16, and wait a minute, if I remember something here... Uh... Nah, that's... That's a solid... Wait. Actually, I am going to spend a sorcery point called Empowered Spell, where I can re-roll three of those die. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to roll... It's going to be like an 8. It's like a 3d8 plus 8. Why are you doing more damage? In case you guys have to fight him, I imagine. 8, 8, 8, 16, 24, 27. Jesus. 27 damage? Yeah, 27 psychic. I, oh my god, this guy out? is definitely going to know someone did something to him. Yeah, well, he's not going to know who. a major migraine. He's going to know it's someone in this room, and he's going to start Well, fighting. no, it has a range of like 60 feet. 60 feet, so yeah, that is a good point. Uh, he begins that, to that a, hold that his That is a massive head, migraine. Uh, and yeah, just, just kind of says, uh, hey, no, please excuse me for my apologies. And he gets his head back to the kitchen as he's kind of holding on to his head. I know, kind of looks. I know right him. where he is. <laughs> I know, right, looks to everyone. To... Uh, did someone do anything? <laughs> well, Oresh is gonna like slightly like use her eyes and like look towards Carius. And then she's gonna look back to Alistair. Is Alistair Alistar? Alistair Alistar. However you want to pronounce it, I'm not gonna. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Yeah. Uh, she's gonna look. She's gonna look back to Alistar and like, and nothing happened. He just kind of gives a shrug as you look at him. Hmm. She's he also gonna, be gonna like quite... whisper to him, like, "I think we'll be know knowing his location for a while." He just has yeah, no, a bit uh, of a bad headache. I sure hope he gets well soon. Alistar throws a glance at you, Carius, but it's an appreciative one. Oh, Russia also like looks at Carius, is like, "Well done, well done." Yeah, did well. It would be better than my plan, which was to. He he's gonna lean in and whisper this so he the, Marcus doesn't hear it. I had to just take Marcus is head. outside or something. He's in the kitchen. He's in the kitchen. Which is like nearby, so he's not going to say out loud. My plan was just to hit him over the head with a lead pipe and then drag him back somewhere. Psychopath. What? The? We're here to kidnap him <laughs> and take his organs, bro. We're here to take his heart. And whatever druidic organs are in there for the black market trade. We love black market trading. We do love it helps us. We, we do a little black. emoji. We do a little black market <laughs> oh trading. My oh my Orish god. is gonna like in enjoy the party, quote unquote. Uh the cake is really good. I can give him one saying the cake is good. It's a basic like like vanilla cake sort of thing because it's clear. Wait, we didn't get Naomi presents. She. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I mentioned that already. Just, oh, we we could make the excuse that we gave it to gave her the presents earlier. True, we just didn't we just didn't have the time to do an actual cel celebration, so we just did the presents, and then now That's we're doing. Why we asked to do this at night time in the cover of darkness. And also yes, make absolutely. sure the entire street is empty when you do so. <laughs> absolutely. And do not bring a weapon. 100%. Alright, so... At least we know where he is now. Like, I can see him. I wonder if it's like, if I get like a general idea where his location is, or if I see like an outline of him. Um, you get an idea of where his location is. If it's something like he's in the living room of his house, it'd be that. But if it's like he... Hmm. What like, does the spell you... say? Does it know? Does it say exact location? Um, you know. Here we go. Uh, on a field, you know the target's location until the spell ends. Okay. So I know where he is. Yeah. So you know exactly how long. Much. How long does the spell last for? An hour. It's concentration. Oh, okay. So concentration lasts up to an hour, and if you break concentration, it's not. Yeah, I lose his location if it gets broken. 
how will how will we know where he is by by his home in an hour? Hmm. This is a celebration. He's gonna be here for a little bit, unless he leaves right now because he's done cooking. He could, because you know he doesn't feel very well. I back. mean, that's a good that's idea. That's plausible. Yes. Albrecht is gonna w walk back towards where Marcus is. The kitchen is, uh, Marcus seems to be complaining to the others about getting a headache, uh, but he doesn't seem to have any idea of, like, where it, like, where it came from, that sort of thing. He does mention that he is a little suspicious, uh, but that he doesn't want to, you know, cast any blame on... Ruin the party. Yeah, he doesn't want to ruin the party or cast any blame. Um, pardon me, uh, Marcus, was it? Marcus looks over you, yes. he's kind of, like, rubbing his head. Uh, yes, ma'am. If you're not feeling well, you're free to leave. Well, I don't want to leave and then ruin the party or anything. I mean, place is bought out. No, no, it, uh, it's completely fine. I, I don't see why you would not be able to. He just kind of gives you a look and just kind of nods before just bowing. All right, well, then I'll be on, then I'll be off my way. I hope the party's enjoyed for the rest of you, and I apologize that I could not make a continued appearance. Have a great rest. And I hope you feel better in the morning. He gives an appreciative nod. <laughs> I hope uh, she like does like a curtsy back towards him. I hope this man does not know of that spell, or else that just kind of almost blatantly gave it away. I mean, I doubt You it. to ask the man to leave for a spell that tracks no, you down. I, I, I said if he's, if he's not feeling great, he can leave. I, I was giving a suggestion to him. It's like, okay, it'd okay. be completely fine to do so. Uh, yeah, and the guy who drank my drink suggests me to, to, to drink my drug drink. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't I didn't do that. I know. So, that was scary. Anyways, go on. <laughs> yeah. He does head out of his way. He does give everybody, like, a, you know, like, he gives her, like, a bow and apologizes for leaving. You're fine. Uh-oh. We will... We will miss you dearly, but we do thank you for giving you part, giving us part of your time to be able to spend this wonderful event with. He gives an appreciative look as he leaves. I'll be right back. Someone's Bruh. going to eat their Hello. cake. A birthday girl is going to eat her cake. <laughs> Yippee! Uh, hey, crab cake. There, there crab is, cake. there is big crab. Is that cheese dice? That is D and D cheese dice. Oh, Rash is gonna try the big crab. Ooh, the cheese dice look cool. Sorry, I'm also looking at Amazon right now. Like I'm just like passively Bruh. scrolling through, and I, since I bought dice, I get my D and D dice, and one of them was just cheese dice. Cheese dice. Cheese dice. They look good. They look like okay, okay. I'm not gonna eat delicious. them. I'm not gonna eat them. <laughs> is it like they is look... it like a piece? Is it like cheese cut to a dice or dice that looks like cheese? Dice that is mo like molded to look like like it has holes and stuff in it, so it looks like cheese to make it look like. Okay, so I'm gonna guess the holes represent cheese. what number you landed on. Uh, no. Oh, that would've been a no. Good that'd be idea, very though. hard to pull off. That is a gnome chilling in the chair. D and D dice jail, and it's a small little tiny little chair. That's funny. It comes, anyway. with, it comes with a little dunce hat. Alresh is gonna like hang out towards, uh, more towards Carius this time, as uh the the party continues. Just so uh, more so curious as to uh where Marcus is going. Marcus, and also in the disguise of idle banter, idle mm -hmm. chatter. A banter. Just a little bit of banter. All right. A little bit of... Uh, Marcus oh, seems to be oh, heading yeah. home. That's what you get. Marcus is, seems mm. to be heading home. He seems to be heading back to his home right now. Why the hell did I equate of this? Hmm. <sighs> All right, well, then. To be honest, it's better that we know his location, is it not? We'll know yes. where his home is. And that way we can maybe sneak in if if possible. I know, no, I mean like what did I create to her thing again? Hmm. I well, could not we'll understand see. a single thing he said, I'm sorry. I did not agree to harvesting organs. This is so morally bankrupt. 
I look. Well, if he's uh, not gonna an for Lockwood, then we're not going to do anything. Hey, you want to get... Actually, no, you, you live here. I want to get off this island, so I'll do anything it takes for me to get enough money to get a boat out. Get on a plane? A boat. Oh. Just fly on the comically large plane. bird. <laughs> a comically large bird called Plane. The bird named Plane. <laughs> Birding question. Name aerial plane. Aerial plane. The, the land dweller. The land dweller. How much longer is this party going to last? Assu assumedly. It, it leaves. We're gonna it's up to you it. guys. Heinrich's taking uh, the all-you-can-eat crabs with him. Like oh, 50 no. more minutes. The big right. crab. Yeah. To to not make it seem suspicious, we're gonna like have it last a little longer than. Yeah. Than when he left. I, Whenever he finally gets home, we're gonna go to his home and then kill him. We are killing him. Well, watching a you movie. all win. I won't. I've already done enough backhanded things as is. I'm not gonna put an innocent man's blood on my hands. Whatever. Well, you don't have to worry about it. I'll do the dirty work. Hmm. All right. Yeah, really we'll watch you can keep the money too. I don't want anything to do with that. I mean, I'll Blood just give him my half because uh, I kind of owe it. Blood money isn't new to me. I see. Anyway. Well, let's get this party finished up. You all have somewhere to be. Indeed. Yep. Wait. Yep, 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 hmm. yep. Why? Uh, I feel like we should have... also, like, maybe, like, wait a little bit for Garrett. Yeah, yeah well, where is you he? have to leave the party soon. You have that, uh, the ball to get to. How so inconvenient that it had to land on the same day. Uh, they really why? hate Naomi. That's crazy. <laughs> you know the ball you're going to? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. I sure do hope you have fun. I've heard the Duke holds quite a bash. Oh, yes, of course. It, it's going to be quite fun. She's mm. going to, like, glance towards Alistair and then is going to, like, motion towards the door. Come on, we're leaving. We have places to be. Huh. Yes, Say this course. happens and then we'll, like, not officially do anything out of the <laughs> building until... It's a real reason with her cake. She's gotta get it one slice. She's gonna eat her birthday. big slice of cake. Her birthday. It's her birthday. Alresha is essentially gonna like f try and find the the last thing uh, Carius had told her about the location of Marcus before she left. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Hi. Welcome Garrett, back, birthday You missed girl. your entire birthday, bro. Naomi's <laughs> missed his entire. You only birthday. turn fourteen once a year. Yeah. yeah, come on. And you missed it. <laughs> you come on missed now. it. What's up with you? Onyx. No, I was getting getting my... Sir, I was getting my switch so I could ignore this birthday party. <laughs> well, the birthday party's over. The birthday party in question. We are, Are we are about to do the home invasion. We're about to do a home invasion. We're about to track down this man. We're gonna. Oresh is going. Oresh is going to attempt to follow Marcus. Make me a stealth well, check. Well, his tracks. A, a what? A uh, stealth check. Well, okay. once you once you get close, yeah. But like, if you're just following his tracks, the moment. Oh no! I'm not trying to like get close to him. I'm just like following his his yeah. tracks, quote unquote. Path yeah, when you get close to his house. Yeah. Because he's gonna recognize you unless you change figures. Holy shit, I just nah, realized something. I, I, I've changed my appearance. What is that, Noah? I also, in mind, I don't have my armor on me. I have my sword, but not the armor. I'm not good at stealth checks, so I might sit this one out. Well, actually, you know what? I might stay nearby, just in case. Yeah, I, you, I'm gonna do yeah. a guard. I'm gonna do a payday 2 thing, and it's gonna be like, if you go inside, we'll stay here just in case you need us. Yeah, we'll be in the back. And then we never need. You. No, I'm kidding. What the hell? Anyway, what, 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 as you were saying, Nautilus? Yeah, I was just saying that 
I also have to keep in mind that I don't have my armor on because I had to change. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got to take off my armor. So I'm a, I'm a little bit more... Uh, <sighs> For RP's sake. Let's... Well, I mean, it just makes sense. For realism's I... sake. I mean, yeah. I never took my armor off. <laughs> I can't... Because you wear leather armor. convincing with, like, No, I wear chain now. I wear leather. Also, Naomi, would you like to help Orisha in the stealth? I wear chain mail. You could take off the chain mail. Dude, that, how long does it take to dawn on and off armor? Like in five, an ten minutes, I think. Five minutes? A chain mail? Hold on, cha- is it a chain shirt or chain mail? It's, it's chain it's mail. It's full chain mail. Heavy I mean, ma- I'm going to go heavy get armor? a drink so you guys can do yes. this little argument. Yes, clerics get heavy armor. Oh. Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's never mind. Nice. That is that will take a little bit. I wouldn't say five minutes though. Unless you're doing an entire suit of armor. In yeah, order five for, minutes is like in order, in order for my fucking like my stealth disadvantage to go away, I have to take off all of the armor. So Well hey, like when whenever the guy leaves you can take it off. Or whenever we're on the way there. Why why would she have it on during the party? Hey, yeah, that is a good point. Why would you have it on during the party? She never took it off. She just put on clothes over it. She has a cloak oh, of many fashions. Oh, uh, yeah, that's so a fair point. Fair make point. it look like there's nothing under it. Well, not, not in that sense. Not in that sense. That's what? Huh? Not in that sense. I don't. I said, I don't even make know it look like there's it. nothing oh, under it. My dad's calling me. I'll be right oh, back again. Bro. Kill him! Kill him now! Kid. Oh, brother! This guy's. Oh, brother! Dead. This guy's down bad. Oh, brother! Fucker, kill yourself! You can't say that on Spotify. He, I don't think. He, I think he paused the recording. He probably. He probably paused the recording. If he didn't, <laughs> edit this out. Edit all of this out, please. Hey, hey, maybe I can get your number. Ow, a flip phone? No, kill yourself. Oh, let's go. I did a stealth check early. I did a. Just why not? I sucked your mom. I sucked your dad. The recording paused, right? The what? I would assume so, yes. Yeah. Oh, let's go. That's a 25 stealth check. Let's go. Might have to tweak something here. Probably. What are you tweaking? Oh, remember that character idea? Tweaking. 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 Remember that character idea I was talking about earlier? Yeah. Yeah, it turns out for, like, one of the feats I need to do it, I don't get, like, a... uh... An ability score improvement to like level four, because I'm because I was going for fighter, so I was thinking of swapping out the race maybe for just like a variant human. Hmm. Fair enough. Humans are good in their own right. True. And there are many it's... noble human families. Uh, this piece is not in call. I was gonna ask him what the heck is that freaking thing he put. In general, what thing? The gift. The guy taking off the hubcap and putting it in a gun. Oh. I feel like I know what that's from. Why is that I guy? I feel like look... I've seen. I, I feel like I've seen that before. What is that? Is that the guy who plays Thor? I don't think so. Or no. Okay, who's the guy who plays Joker? Who played Joker, the uh, Dark Knight? Mm-hmm. Jared Leto? No, the Dark Knight one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wouldn't know. But he has a laser Tommy gun. Men in I'm, Black! I'm pretty sure that's, that, that's what's, uh, what, uh, what that's Is that Men in Black? Something. Hold on. I don't think that's Men in Black. It might be, though. I doubt wait, it. No, that, wait, no, that's Chris Hemsworth. That's the guy that plays Thor. Just oh, that. it is. 
Yes, that's Chris Hemsworth. It's, oh my god, oh. it's Men in Black International, the most suckiest Men in Black board. Oh. That explains why I didn't remember I rem- it. Okay, I, I don't even remember this freaking <coughs> movie, honestly. If I remember <laughs> correctly, the entire car is basically a weapon. Like, any part of it can be used in a weapon. You're a weapon. Like, I think... <coughs> <laughs> Parts of the engine you could use as them. Me, when I turn someone into a breadstick after I've turned them into a breadstick. Me, after eating their breadstick. Me, after eating the breadstick. I am cannibal. Did anything silly happen while I was gone? Are you still recording? Yes. Oh, fuck. oh, you're gonna have to edit out a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, we said multiple copyright songs. We're gonna ruin your promise. Yeah. I don't care. We said may not have killed. We said the orphans. n-word thirty times. Yeah. Yeah. We said the n-word. You made a big fucking oopsie. I made an oopsie. You made an yes. oopsie. No, I have his made... footage. This means I can testify in court. Nah, you being affiliated with us is gonna get you in court. You being affiliated. I'm gonna sue. <laughs> How was I supposed to know my friends were raising raging racists? Right, you've <laughs> known me for four years. You're throwing that idea. You know me for almost five years. Mm-hmm. Riley's mm-hmm. known me for like. You know I am a racist. I'm Wait. not, by the way. Has it I'm been not. a year since I've known you guys? Yeah, pretty much. Damn. I known him since near the end of Time flies. Time Damn, flies. You don't know, but you've known me your whole life. Wait, me? That's crazy. Yep. Duck is the Wait, ain't no way. How. Wait, Garrett from elementary school? Yeah, that's me. Yo, what's up, it's bro? Always spelled G E R R I T Garrett. Anyway. Yeah, we're now we're we're gonna do home invasion. We're gonna time. track this guy down to his house. All right, guys, make sure and you carry is gonna sit out because he's a help. No, because I have morals. He has morals. He has morality. morals. Ew, morality. Am I right, guys? I kill people. <laughs> Agreed. Oh hell no! Kill yourself. Anyway, Carius, uh, is there any way you can keep us informed, perhaps? Unless we have a way to have a mental link with me. Can... I could you think have a mental link with you, but I don't think you'll like th- how. How do you... What I'm do going you to guess it requires some kind of sexual contact or something along No, you. it's just succubus magic. I need to charm you. You need to charm me? Yes. Hmm. Fine. I will let you, but not a word leaves about this. Of mm. course. No, oh, I do. Whatever. I'm going to charm Carius. Is that Can a I just? Uh, I believe it's a. Charisma saving throw? But he's no, willing that's probably to do a wisdom so. saving throw. It's a wisdom, but he's willing, so I yeah, don't think you're he's anything. also willing, so I don't think it matters. Yeah. So I guess you look a bit better now. I, I look better. I look a better, yes. Hmm. So now you look talk to me in my brain. How does that work? Uh, like this. Uh, you proceed to he- hear a wrestler's voice inside your head. Like this. Oh, I guess I'll try it too. Just, hello? Hello? I'll yeah, go to- I believe it works both is this, ways. Is this thing working? Is this thing working? Yes. Going? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Mm. Uh, Alright. Perfect. I will inform you from out here. Then? Just, I don't know, brain me? Need any updates, and I'll tell you where he is. Yep, there it is. Yep, 
All right, nice. So, are we gonna go through with this? Or... Yeah, let's do it. I already wrote okay. my spell check. What's your stuff? What'd you get? Uh, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah, that's 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 good enough. I think that's good. I I'm pretty sure that's good enough. It might be. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. Just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we we will. You know what I mean? Yes. I'm about to beat Pokemon. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm about to beat Pokemon. <laughs> Said no one ever. Get out of here. I'm gonna play <laughs> and also beating Pokemon right now. You're also beating. I mean, uh, he's whating Pokemon. Uh, no freaking uh, way. Yeah. Listen to oh. this fucking freak, TBH. Wait. So who who's all sneaking into the? Home. Yeah, who's all gonna go with uh, a Rebsha? Who's all blowing up the retirement home? <laughs> who's Me, all blowing? Smiley face. Oh, I did not burn down that orphanage. I did. Well, <laughs> Naomi does want to go in because she's got the whole uh, chainmail thing going on. So a Rebsha. Alistar is probably also coming. And is that it? <laughs> I guess that it is just a Russian and Alistar now. Let's go. What? The two thieves. Hello? Let me roll his check. Oh. <laughs> now we hear you, Logan. <laughs> no, I was I was just quiet. I didn't know you were calling oh, okay. for me. I'm sorry, my brain. Nah, yeah. are are you coming with a uh, with Oresha and Alistair? He's too big and he's not good at stealth. So uh, he's just okay, cool. he's gonna wait outside. Yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah. Me and Heinrich will be like the backup muscle. We'll be we'll be the two AI people. We'll be the and two AI. AI has mo uh, has moral problems with this situation, so he's just staying back and not doing anything other than just guiding Oresha. Oh, cool. Then we're still gonna be back. Then we're all backup muscle. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Yo, you're solo stealthing this heist, bro. Sorry. <laughs> I'm solo stealthing. You're the rogue, so do it. <laughs> True. I am the rogue. Rogues if they were good. <laughs> Rogues if they were good. Does Alistair also need to roll a stealth check? Yeah, Alistair is going to roll a stealth check. Don't worry. Oh, shit. Why did I, why did I say anything? Watch him rolling out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. You're going to curse him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna curse. Oh my god, the way home? No way, bro. There is no way home. <laughs> Everyone in chat fine. wondering, Pokemon Scarlet is better than Violet. Fuck you. Okay, that's all. Everybody I'm listening, Shh, can we shut this freak up? Shut that. Go in the I comment agree. section, and there's a link to petition to shut this freak up. There's I a agree. petition to stop this beast from eating the slop. Uh, he, How he about you play a, Pokemon Legends so Arceus, bro? Alright, cool. Legends Arceus and Pokemon Legends D's. Rah. You know what I mean? Anyway. Sneaky! I think I'm having auditory hallucinations. I just heard a single pluck of a guitar string. It was me. Did you actually pluck a guitar string? No. Okay, I'm having auditory hallucinations. No, I, I think he, I think it went bing, and then it sounded like one because I thought I. Yeah, heard it was one. probably bing, bing. Probably, probably. Bing. Yeah, I thought he did one too. Then my brain registered it as, oh no, it was just him going bing. The sounds never stop. Brain always working. But he got a 19. He'll be fine. Well, let's go. As you guys are going to his manor. It's not really as much as a manor as it is a decently sized house. A big Ooh, house. It's a manor in my eyes. There is like like a wall and a gate sort of deal. And there's a little bit of what one, you know, a little entrance way. And there's a small fountain. But it's a lot smaller and a lot less lavish than most of the other places around the area. Most of the places are very decadent, and the walls are either much clearly of higher quality or just way more decorated. Bushes and all that stuff. There's not even a garden at the front. 
it looks almost like a shack that's just been built upon for the most part. Or at least at some point it was just a normal shack in its time. Uh, give me a... There are two... Actually, give me uh, an investigation check. Because there are... Going... Yeah. Because there's going to be multiple ways to enter, obviously. Okay, let's go. Yeah, Ooh, looking, that's at the, uh, looking at the prep map in Payday 2 while I'm drawing a Homer Simpson. Yeah, he's drawing a Homer Simpson in there. Investigation 21. Ooh, 21. Nice. Let me roll one for our good friend. Hello, Star. What's your emoji? He's looking around, and you are clearly doing... Arusha, your, your search is a lot more fruitful, as Alistair is clearly not the most familiar with this area of nobility, uh, as he's having a hard time trying to find any of the very obvious ones. What you find is that there appears to be a little... How to put it? In an almost unsecure manner, there is what appears to be the exit to a basement. Hidden behind uh, some of what appears to be the actual uh, garden sort of bit, as there are some bushes out back. Yeah, I hate to do this. Uh, I gotta go use the restroom, so I'll join through my foot mute. Cool. Die. So, based on what Carius knows from his spell, where is the guy currently? Currently? Obviously, I'm, I'm just gonna relay it to you, obviously. Uh, Alright, that's fine. Uh, but well, no, uh, no role play. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to role play, you can. I don't mind. It'd be fun. It would be fun. Uh, Carius, you know from your spell that our good friend Marcus is on the second story of his house. He appears to be on the second second floor. Hmm. Well. We can either go from this basement entrance all the way up to the second floor, or we can go straight to the second floor. But I'm rather curious about this weird basement exit. I mean, if you think you're slick enough, you could try to go down into the basement, leave the basement, and then try to climb a wall or something. You can climb walls. Can, can you climb walls? Uh, maybe. Hmm, I see. Anyway, uh, I believe I... She's going to look over to her, towards Alistair. Should we go through the basement up to the second floor, or should we go straight to the second floor? Well, a little bit... Uh, hmm. That's a good question. I feel like gathering some dirt would be a good idea first. That's a good idea. We say we hit the basement first, see what we find, and then move our way up the floors. Uh, make sure your uh, good friend Carrius is keeping us updated. We want to come. All right then. There doesn't seem to be any security. I don't see any guards or anything like that. But people who don't need guards are usually dang more dangerous than people who do. Or we need to be very careful. Yes. Let's get going then. Our rush is gonna like head towards the little basement All exit right. place thing. I think the two doors, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's the two doors, yep. Y yeah. You say that, do you, do you really know what I mean, or are you just gaslighting me? Because it's working! Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> do you think, no, do you, do you think before you send a message? Yeah, I think tee hee hee, go no. in three, and then I send the message. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You wouldn't get anyway. it. You're not T colon three. Uh, yeah, but you are every three. Why minutes. do I only hear Duck talking? It's not luck, because like, no one else is really talking. Hello? Wait, did you... Did... Oh, um... Oh, uh, that's crazy. Meow. Logan's dying, guys. It's just I'm Logan's on phone. Walk. Logan blocked everybody. That's crazy. No, I'm just kidding. Let's see how Logan is crazy. Uh, anyways, yeah, this basement is not locked either. And if there was a lock, you couldn't imagine it being that hard as currently 
the door is just kind of. Alresha is open. gonna like use her magic eye just in case for like mm-hmm. any magical sort of alarms or anything like that. Uh, there are no magical alarms. The place seems largely unguarded from what you're seeing. Awesome. Uh, Keeping the magic eye on. All right. Uh, just in case. As you enter in, it's a pretty standard basement. There's magic everywhere in the basement, but it's largely because there's a lot of cooking and everything going cool. down and such. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, is there anyone reading. inside inside the basement? There does not seem to be. Uh, as mm. you know that currently Goodhead Marcus is on the second story, to your knowledge. Um, there's cooking supplies. A lot of it is boiled down to ice chests. I can boil it down to just ice chests where people, where he's storing food and whatnot and such. There is some druidic magic, but it seems like a lot of preservation magic. Give me an arcana. Mm. Oh, fuck. Is everyone else just quiet? No one yeah. else is talking. Okay, so I'm not just going crazy. No. Sims team. Six team. No, okay, someone is really is talking because Duck is responding to him. So why can't oh, I hear you? Oh, 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 this is bad. <laughs> Logan oh. can't hear Riley. Yeah, I can't hear him. Hey, Did you hear Nautilus. Hey, just hey, hey. I heard Nautilus. I can't hear Riley, though. I that's can't weird. believe you have Riley muted right now. That's crazy. I don't have him muted. Um, that's a problem. Where's the deafen button? Mm-hmm. On the phone. Where's the deafen mm-hmm. button on the phone? Does it work now? Okay. Can you hear no. me now? Wait, right. Riley, speak. Can none of y'all hear me? I, I can, can hear him now. No, I, I can hear. Okay, I and can hear six. him. Silly goofy. Ah ha 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 ah ha 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 ha. But sixteen arcanuma. Uh, there is some drip magic, and there's little sparse thing bits of it. You can see there is some construct magic, but you can't tell if it would be in the vein of having someone to hand you tools like a little construct that way, or something more serious like a lockwood or a golem. Blackwood. In, in like what direction, or is it like just sort of a lingering? It's kind of puzzles? all over, but some of it is near some of okay, the, so like like the a food chest. Puzzles. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, we're just gonna look around a little bit in some of the food chests, just in case. You know, you never know. Yeah. The food chests are mainly just. Obviously, they're food chests. They're full of food, ingredients, whatnot. Um, hmm, hmm. Deciding something, smiley face. Smiley face. It's all Cuban meat. Cuban meat. Yeah, whole big thing of Cuban cigars. Uh, anyways. Can you give me a wisdom save? Oh, fuck. A wisdom save? Shit. That's not good. I think that's a five. I don't think I have a plus to my wisdom. My wisdom save. If my character shoot. There we go. Mm -hmm. Wisdom? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a five. That's a five. That's a five. You can see some of it looks... Hmm. Some of it looks like some of the meat has is fresh, but some of it looks almost like it's gone bad. Hmm. Wait, so what, what, what was that wisdom save for? <laughs> oh no, he knows. He knows he I'm here. It. He doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. He, he, he don't get it. He don't get it. Carius, do you see any strange movements from Marcus? Hmm. I'll sort of gaze to where he is, seeing if like I see him moving around, pacing, or just lying somewhere. He general movement. 
seems to just be still on the second floor, moving around somewhat, but it's unclear if he's just moving around in, like, a circle trying to figure out what happened, why he got, like, a he's... massive headache for a moment, or if he's, he's move... just, like, moving between things. He's moving mm. somewhat. He's still on the second floor. Okay. Good to know that he hasn't caught on yet. Because, uh, hmm, doesn't seem to have very good uh, experience in taking care of meats. Uh, Oresha is going to, like, not finding anything useful down here is going to, like, move up towards this uh, first floor. All right. Uh, Alistair follows behind you, uh, looking for his own thing, uh, looking around as well. The first floor is relatively simple. There is your living room, a pretty basic kitchen, and uh, what appears to be a laundry room, or what there would be the laundry room and a bathroom at this point in time. Uh, make me an investigation check. But the big Uh, Invest. that's another. No, not another. Uh, that is uh nineteen. I'm back. Nineteen. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a computer. The there is a couple of stuff from the kitchen left in the living room, like cooking knives, plates, and stuff. A couple of dirty plates. It's not the most cleansly, but what you do notice more so with your nineteen is that there appears to be this sort of almost odd mold-like liquid uh, near where there'd be, like, a cupboard uh, under the stairs. The cupboard itself is locked. Is, is this mold any sort of, like, uh, magic? Oh, no, it's definitely magic. It's something. It is definitely magic. <laughs> I'll rush this one, like, gesture towards Alistair to, like, look at the mold. He walks over we'll as see if he, he uh, appears he to knows be anything. like having found a little himself. He, he walks over uh, and he just kind of like looks over at it, just kind of nods himself. I'm not sure what exactly this is. Definitely magic, though. Horesh is gonna like take out like a vial or something that she has as like a container and is gonna use like a dagger that she doesn't really particularly use anymore mm -hmm. and is gonna like scrape some of it into like the vial and then All close right. it off. All right. It's a little, it's easier said than done as the, it does somewhat stick to the wall, like the little bit that you can get. Hmm. Do we want to try our hands at the lock? Uh, Oresha is going to try her hands at the lock All because right. that seems fun. Roll me funny lock pick. Lock pick is perform <laughs> sleight of hand plus proficiency. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a natural twenty. Natural twenty. You Let's go. get the yeah. lock mostly unlocked, though it appears a second key would be needed. So give me another check. This is this this would be with Four. advantage as you got the nat twenty. <laughs> Another lock. Advantage, thank God. Uh this time uh it's just a twenty-one. Twenty-one. You managed to get it open, but the one of your lock uh like however you're doing the lock picking, whether it is through bobby pins or you have some imitation key of some sort, basically. Uh it does it doesn't quite break. It gets taken into the lock. But the lock does unlock. Orush is gonna like see it like disappear and is gonna be like I'm not sure what that means. She's gonna like she's gonna like have a hand on her like short sword and is gonna like open it slowly. Mm -hmm. There's more of this mold in there. Uh this dark cupboard. There's a good bit of more of this mold in there, and there. Give me a wisdom save. Oh fuck! Now Star Wars have to make one. So. Oh shit! 
That's a four. There's clothes, but they don't appear to... They just appear to be clothes, really. I mean, they're a little scattered here and there. And even looking under them, you can see... Eh, it just kind of looks like there's a box or something. like, And it's just kind of filled with old sewing equipment and stuff like that. Some of the look needles look a little there. too pointy, or they look a little, like, bent. Uh, I'm actually going to look towards Alistair to see if he, like, uh, looks any different. He doesn't. He just kind of... He looks a little disappointed not having really found anything. I'm actually going to close the cabinet then and attempt to, like, relock it if possible. Make me an arcana. Fuck. That's an eight. <laughs> Alistar is going to try as well. As you're trying to uh, relock it, pretty much using a bobby pin, doing sort of reverse, sort of doing some sort of like reverse technique on it, uh, and you watch as your other bobby pin that you've, you've been using uh, that worked the first time begins slowly pull in. Alstar yanks it out uh, before pulling out what appears to be uh, a replica of a pretty basic key and uh, putting it in the lock. It. Like you can see, the lock tried to pull this key in, but like a like the like a bit of the key is too big for it to be pulled into it. Mm. And the lock just seems to relock, though. As you look at it, it appears to have lost a bit of its magic as some of it begins to slowly seep out before going back in and back in. And uh, Astro just kind of looks at you with a mildly urgent look. We have about. Oh, oh I'm just gonna like slightly rub the back of her head. We have about two minutes ish. All right, let's let's just go then. Alrush is gonna like head up towards the second floor then. All right. As now they're on a time crunch. Time out. Time out. Time out. Damn. What a sound. Uh, Carius, the movement of Marcus has become more frantic. Well, oh, this isn't good. It's moving a bit sporadic oh, no. now. Well, uh, I suppose we'll be expecting some sort of fight, or possibly just a alerted person. Oh, Russia is gonna, like, tap on her short sword slightly as if, like, a gesture towards Alistar, mm -hmm. as if, uh, Not wanting to speak just in case, you know. You see in a, basically a thieves canned version, uh, what appears to be the assassin's brand mark on his uh, like on the top of his hand, as he just kind of taps mm. it and gives you a a nod. Oh, Russia also having an assassin's brand, pretty pog. Mm. Uh, as you head up the stairs, you can hear him pacing and walking. And give me a perception check. Perception? Oh, that's really good. Uh, perception, that is a 25. Twenty-five. He's getting closer to the stairs, mm -hmm. but he stops, and you can hear something like fall from uh, the room by the stairs. You know what I mean, like how there's the wall next to this, that sort of thing. Mm hmm Yeah. Or is gonna like quietly unsheath her sword, sword, and just hold it in place. Uh, Alistar... does, it, does it seem like he, he would be like he would know that we're here or something like that? You can you can hear him going towards like where something fell and the foots the like it's almost panicked basically. Oh, so he's panicking right now. Yeah. Oh, Rush is gonna look towards Alistar as if uh and 
making a gesture in Thieves can as if he's uh but like he's he's out of his mind. He's panicking. Mustar gives a nod and begins to slowly walk up the stairs. I'm gonna roll another sh stealth check for Alistar. I would suggest you also roll stealth check. Okay. Don't fuck up. Okay, that's not bad. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Uh, dirty 20. Let's go. Uh, you watch as Alistar seems to step on the creaky step. Or the one, the one step that has a creaky side, as you can hear it, and the actual, uh, the walking in the room stops. And just begins to resume as you can hear something being moved, like, in the wall next to you. Is he getting, like, moved towards, like, the door? He's, he's, there's probably, you imagine there's, like, a closet. Like, 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 you know, uh... the wall there. Uh, and it's something is being put in there very, very frantically. Arush is gonna, like, slightly, like, eye Alistar for a second. Is like, hmm. <laughs> Uh, my good uh, friend, my good friend, are Heinrich and Carius in the same place? Well, I, 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 I would think they'd be standing like on a sidewalk nearby, yeah. And same with Naomi, they'd be loitering, yeah, loitering. it would be loitering before loitering was a thing, or just before loitering, loitering was a law, bro. We're I'd be, I'd be, I'd be lazy. I meander around. I do a lot of loitering. I loiter. To, I loiter, boiter. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. I, I'm so good, but <laughs> shut up. Literally, be quiet. That's so true. That's so true. Like if you were Ball Sudman. Okay, bruh. Did you know you have rights? No. Uh, anyways. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, Curious, Heinrich, and Naomi. Uh, you watch as two of the town guard approach you. Uh, one of them steps forward. It says, uh, Mr. Uh, mm, were you the folks that held the birthday party at the Gillies? Is that correct? Uh, yes. Yes, we were. What do you ask? We're looking into something. During the time mm -hmm. of the birthday party, uh, someone went missing, and they were at the oh. Gillies then. We were curious if you might have known anything about them. Uh, taller, sort of elven folk, uh, short hair, blue eyes, distinctive scar down the neck. Marcus the chef? No, that is that does not describe Marcus. Oh, sorry, I, I heard elven-like, and I'm like... Elven-like? Who does it describe? As far as you guys know, it doesn't seem to describe anybody you'd know. If you want to, you could make a history check for the area. Well, no, that that's, no, that's with not Marcus. Russia. The no, because he's another succubus. Okay, was that Russia's eyes? Um, no, I don't think so. Genuinely. No, I don't believe I have met somebody with that description. The guard just gives a nod. Well, then sorry for bothering you, sir. If you see them, uh, please report them to us immediately, or if, you're, or if you can aid in the search anyway, please do so. We're looking Would for you like one... Oh, God. Marcus kidnapped someone. We're looking, for, like a... A... Like... We're looking for a Jocelyn uh, Everstar. Just... Lean. Hmm. Was it like a crab Wait leg? Wait Can, can like... It's like crab leg. I wonder if... I wonder if Russia can like also like peer... Or if she like peer into my mind while like I'm... Uh, it's, it's a telepathic bond. If... So... If you're thinking something, I think I also oh. hear what you're thinking. Yeah, I was thinking. Thinking of the name, thinking of the description mainly. Trying to... Uh, yeah, because it's literally called was. telepathic bond. Yeah, uh, then, yeah the fiend ignores know. range restriction on its te uh, telepathy when communicating with a creature. It has charmed. The two can't don't even need to be on the same plane of existence. 
Well, then, there you go. Yeah, you'd be knowing I was thinking of this Jocelyn and, like, he, hear me thinking of the descriptors. Mm. Oh, we're just not going to say anything to Alistar yet because they're currently in a right interesting situation. Yeah. Uh, I want you to give me a history check, uh, Carius. A history check? A history Don't check. Mind if I do. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> That's a nine. That's a nine. Jocelyn isn't a common name by any means, even even among the elven sort. It's not a common name. Even with the description, uh, even with the description of uh, like a distinctive star down their neck, uh, that could be anybody. There are a lot of mercenaries and everything, and going for the neck is very common in fighting. So, yeah, I don't yeah. know. But the, it, it, there, it, that could be any elf named Jocelyn. But you don't know any like that. Name, but I don't know anybody with that. Regards goes on. Like I said, if you see them or you find them in any way, please report them to us or bring them to us. There is a well, not fully set up yet, as it has yet to be put on the board of missing people so far. But there is a thirty gold prize if found. Oh, it's a missing person you're trying to look for. Yes. I was worried it was, it was, it was a bounty on the head or something. There... If we we know anything of their presence, we will notify you immediately. Thank you for Carrie, the information. So I uh, ask him another question. How many people have gone missing hmm. recently? It's, it's been... Sh Wait. Have you had many other um, disappearances as of late? Nothing out of the ordinary, well, it should not be ordinary by any means, but nothing that would break the numbers that happened within the months we've had. There was a noble that went missing a couple months back, uh, about a year ago there was, uh, the mayor's wife went missing at one point, though she was found. Ooh. And besides the recent one, the last most recent one would be, uh, there was this tabaxi folk, Casey something or another, and they went missing. Uh, apparently, they apparently they might have been bo uh with some bad folk, though they were a passerby in town, new to the town, didn't have a house, adventurer possibly, something like that. It's kind of hard to keep track of adventurers and like going missing, given how frequently that happens. Right. Well. Thank you very much for answering my question. I I appreciate your good work. Definitely, we will keep an eye out. Oh, well, that's a strange name, or no? Well, thank you, sir. No problem. Have a good day. And uh, sure. the guards leave you three alone. Whoo! All right. Whoo! Close call. But by any chance, this have to do with that Marcus fella? Hmm. Possibly. I don't know. So we're dealing with a possible kidnapper. Could be. He could be the kidnapper. Someone else could be the kidnapper. This could be another missing warrant. Hmm. My God tells me it has to do something with him. Because why else would they want to ask us of anything where he, where this person's been? And also to mention, they did say, uh, the, uh, about the, the person parties. worked at Gully. Yeah, Gillies. Where we had our birthday party. Yes. No, they never said anyone worked at Gillies. They never said that. They just said it's, they, just some, it's just some elf with a cut on her neck that's gone missing. They were they were at the Gillies whenever the birthday party was happening. They were in the like the private area. All right. I don't think anyone anyone we saw anyone go in there. 
they were there before you guys, to your knowledge. So if you had seen them go in there, it would have been to leave any leave uh, to grab anything. But goes without saying, I would have mentioned that. True. Which means that we didn't see anyone leave nor go in there. Yeah. So. Uh, Anyhow. Uh, but the the sound of panicking is still kind of going for you, uh, Arisha, but it slowly begins to calm down as you can hear the door shut. Uh, Alstar has made it up the stairs, mostly. Uh, and you if you follow behind him a little bit, you can see that there are there's mainly like a hallway in front of like that. Just a hallway, and then there's rooms, that sort of thing, to the right. Mm. Besides some windows to the left. Arisha is going to like lean towards Alistar and is like, we may or may not have someone else inside this building that could be a victim of a kidnapping. <sighs> Wouldn't be surprised for nobody. Common for lower rate people to go missing or to be taken in by them. Oh, most of the people who have gone missing the last couple of months have just reappeared. A little shaken, but reappeared. What? I think my main question is should we. I mean, he's in a panic, so he's expecting us, perhaps. Well, he also might not So be. should we just rush him? I don't think we rush him. He might not be expecting us. Might be something that he's done, or some mess up in his behavior, or something like that. Unless he's just having a breakdown and not being able to flash and flaunt himself at a party. I agree, we rush him. You're pretty strong, right? I was a ship hand. I'd say you rush him, pin him down, and I make sure he doesn't escape as a second line. Sounds good to me. I will have. I will. I must now make opposing strength checks, but I will start would have disadvantage. Uh, would have advantage, not disadvantage. Would have disadvantage because cringe, not disadvantage because cringe plus ratio. <laughs> Cringe plus L plus ratio plus Alistar fell off. <laughs> plus Alistar mid. Uh, you guys rush into the main room to the right, and you see that Marcus is in a panic frenzy over something uh, as he seems to be rearranging stuff. And uh, Alistar activates his uh, Assassin's Brand, which doesn't turn into a dagger. It turns into... You know the chains you would use for an anchor? It turns oh. into a smaller sort of version of those uh, as oh. Marcus does seem to notice you guys and before he can do anything uh, Alistar basically just like manages to get the chain around his neck and is basically just telling him to keep quiet otherwise the worst will happen. Oresha is going to, like, flourish her sword, sword for a second and is going to, like, look at Marcus. It's like, uh, looking at Alistar. It's like, go ahead and question him. I'll look around. Hmm. Oresha is going to, like, look towards he where he was, like, making sounds and stuff like that. All the right. closet. Give me an investigation check. Investigation. 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 Uh, that's not great. Uh, it's not amazing. Investigation. Uh, twelve. That's not great. How much did you make? What's your roll? Twelve. Uh, twelve. The. Main uh, closet. This appears to be more of a room where you'd store clothing in. Uh, as there are sets of clothing here and there, fancy, all that shit. Plenty of chef's outfits, all that stuff. And the more formal, noble things. Uh, this closet that you ha are trying to get into is once more locked. Uh, and there appears to be more of the mold, but it appears to be less than there was uh, by the cupboard. Arash is going to attempt to unlock it. Give me a lockpick. Check. Lockpick. Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand plus proficiency. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's so good. 
or uh, 26. 26. Uh, the lockpick tries to take your bobby pin like before, but you easily just kind of don't let it by gripping onto it as you open it and give me a strength check. Strength fuck. save, I should say. Oh, fuck. That's even worse. Actually, no, there's no difference. Uh, the strength save, uh, 12. 12. Me and my 12s, dude. The something falls on top of you, and it feels wooden as you are knocked nice. to the ground as a heavy wooden body falls on top of you. I want it's you. To, a lot. You don't have to make. Okay, first and foremost, I would like because I'm gonna try to do this for some things because if we're gonna. Be is it like Spotify. an animated wooden thing, or is it just... No, this is me making sure that I have this all set up. For some moments that would require a trigger warning, I will give trigger warnings. I was gonna do a whole, like, throw it in the editing software and do it at the beginning and give a listed time, but I kind of think it's better to just note the time now, and then whenever it's over, be like, okay, it's over, that sort of thing. Okay, fair enough. Uh, this is kind of a trigger warning for some body horror, uh, for anyone who sees this and that, you know, descriptions of that, <laughs> which is going to be a big thing with this campaign. I should probably put that in the description of it, all that kind of shit. Uh, this body that is on top of you, you push over and look at it, is wooden and it is heaping with druidic magic. The thing is, this appears to be the body of a Lockwood. Where the heart is, is where the heart of a human would be. It's been very very crudely cut out and it is missing there's still some of the liquid from the heart or what there would be of blood and such but it is missing outright in fact the other things that follow this closet are what appear to be two more of these similar bodies one looks more beast-like uh being carved more uh in uh, a dragonborn sort of shape Taller, bigger, sturdier, that sort of thing. Uh, and one of them is what appears to be made in the image of a tabaxi. As all of them have the same thing. And you can see in the, the other ones that there were attempts to look for other organs. The stomach is cut open, all that sort of stuff. But there's nothing in there. It's just a hollowed body. Well, Rush is going to like take all of these bodies out, out of the closet and like toss them to the ground. In front of Marcus. Marcus is fucking frozen in place. So. Mind explaining this? Uh, Alistair, like, tightens the train around his neck. Not enough to actually restrict his breathing or whatnot, you know. Turns a little more uh -huh. as he looks, he looks pretty appalled uh, himself. Uh, Marcus slowly begins to talk, uh, trying to keep his composure. Well, I, I, um, uh, I, uh, I, um, they, they, damn it. They what? Hey, the, uh, fucking, um, uh, damn. The, the, uh, the, the, the guy, the, the erm, erm, what, the scallop? With that one kid trying to remember something. Damn, uh, fuck, um, the, uh. That's me. That is literally me. I am that kid. Uh, so? Marcus manages to just barely get out of, uh, Alistair's hold as he slams his, uh, elbow into Alistair's ribs, who lets out a, a grunt of pain. Uh, and is trying to get to the door. Alresh is immediately going to take his short sword and stab it into his leg. Uh, roll to hit. You good, Doug? Fucking... The fucking, uh... Eleven. Eleven? Eleven hits as you get a slash into his leg. Oh, okay. And he falls to the ground, uh, almost out of the door. 
Paul Rush is gonna is now gonna like mount his back and he's gonna stab her sword into the side of like next to his head. He lets out a little whip. I don't think I don't think you know where you're going. The more you struggle and run, the more I might take a finger or two. Marcus uh, gulps and is still kind of. Do I make an intimidation check? Uh, actually, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, make an intimidation check. Cue, cue the uh, with, comic uh, with advantage or no? With advantage, yeah, because you're fucking. You are directly on top of him. Thank God for advantage. Right. Uh, d- d- still not great. Eleven. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me roll against us. And I, I, I didn't think you'd roll so low. Yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. I rolled even lower. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled even fucking lower. Don't worry. That's uh, fucking hilarious. He, he continues, like, choking on his own words before he finally gets out. Uh, I was told they could fix my... Oh, so you're one of them as well? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not one of them. I'm, I'm not a Lockwood. No, I'm normal. I'm, I'm not. Should I take a finger? You can take all you want, but I can prove to you I'm not one. I bleed. I have proper organs. I, God. Those Lockwood bodies were bleeding. Yes, but I have organs, and I have, I, and I, I'm not a Lockwood. I, I can, I can prove it. Should to I you. cut you up and find out? No, no. Please, she says please. that she like she summons her assassin's brand and like puts it up to his neck. No, I they just just I have it. Let me go for a I moment. A, let me catch my breath, please. I have a working theory. He is human, but his heart isn't. What do you mean by fix you? I I'm cursed and I. Are you not entirely human? No, I'm I'm as I'm as human elven as the day I was born. I'm I wasn't I haven't Then why would you need to be fixed? I'm cursed. I can't What sort he, of curse? He he looks up at you, Oresha. And just kind of like st- not stares you down. This is, is, is it's, it's a very hesitant look. Besides the pleading one, and he just like looks you in the eyes and says, "If you cut my head off, I'll show you." Inside check. Go ahead. Roll. Go ahead. Roll. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, seventeen. He's not lying. He he's very he's genuine. Cut off your head. Yes, that's the only way I can show it properly. Uh, she, uh, she unsummons her assassin's brand and takes her short sword and, like a guillotine, slams it down. What? Give me a strength check. Oh my God, Garrett. <laughs> What? You can't be listening to Bo Burnham right now, dude. I thought he was listening to the freaking um Bendy rap. No, that that's Bo Burnham. I know Bo Burnham, but at first I thought that is fucking Bo Burnham. I was confused why you could hear me. My mic was <laughs> mute. No, it wasn't. Look, I, just, I just know Bo Burnham. Like, I know you're listening like, to Bo Burnham. And like, and like literally. As soon as I looked over, it said I was talking, but I looked at my mic and it said it was muted, so I don't know. Did you just check Discord and said, oh, listen to Bo Burnham, or did you hear me singing Bo Burnham? No, we heard it. No, we I, heard, I heard the video. I heard strain. the music. Buster, here's a nine-year-old who died. He died. Be happy. Be horny. Okay. Stay away Whatever is doing with the age. There's anyway. a million ways to engage. Anyway, uh, We're gonna back get to main topic. <laughs> What'd you get? Head removal. What'd you get in your shirt? Oh, check? was I like rolling to hit? 
uh, you're rolling to cut through as there are numerous times where guillotines oh. just straight up only cut about halfway through. Oh, so strength check? Yeah, I assume. give me two strength checks. If the first one passes checks. enough, you won't need a second one. Uh, that's a seven. Uh, you... Second one. There's a, there ain't no way that I got two sevens. Bleh. I mean, you're definitely making your way through. <laughs> Do I need to roll a third? Yeah, yeah, roll me a third one. Let's hope this does better. N uh, 18. <laughs> 18. There you, go. you get about to, like, more of the bone uh, for the first two, and you're kind of stopped there before you finally... Uh, are able to just use all my momentum. body weight just yes! and his head rolls like to the right like as it comes off I was just gonna grab his head just in case after a couple of seconds his head begins to slowly as if something is forcing it back on his head go back onto his head or Russia lets go and lets his head do this. His head is put back on with a simple pop and twist. As you begin to see the wound, the wound is still there. It's still very scarred, but it's the neck is back together. And he begins breathing heavily as he's brought back. What the hell are you? I, 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 I can't die. I, I can't. You were cursed with immortality. For some... Un I don't know why. I and I thought that if I could take their bodies it it and just it would change it, but it didn't work. Ask him oh, if he took look any people. Alistair, and it's like What are we doing? Oh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? <laughs> Alistair like, has this, <laughs> like, you can see Alistair gripping, like, the chain on his arm, like, as if he wants to put this man out of his misery, but he looks a little upset wait, that he can't. I, wait, am I, like, am I, like, hearing, <laughs> am I, like, since I'm, like, in, like, tune with Oresha, I'm, like, hearing all this too. Yeah, you can hear Oresha going through the thoughts, it's like, this, what, hold on a minute, wait, wait, so this man is, is immortal, but is cursed uh, with immortality and doesn't want to be immortal. What the fuck? Yeah, what's going on? Uh, Carius? You're the one who can see into her head. Oh, damn it. If I was just a little bit higher, that would have been something I could have done. <laughs> Rip. Ah, bummer. Bum. What a bummer, dude. Hmm. Is everything okay, Carius? Hmm. Thing. This is strange. Thing indeed. I'm. I can think. I'm hearing what Arash is thinking right now. Apparently. What is she thinking? Well, this Marcus fellow that we're told to find, right? He's been cursed with immortality. He can't Him. die. It is locked off his head, and he's perfectly fine. Wait, does that mean uh, that's he... not the person we're looking for? No, it is. It's just that he swaps out multiple of his wooden bodies to try to find something where he can finally die. But apparently it hasn't worked. So he is a Lockwood. Yes, but he is a man... I don't think I ever condition. said that he was a Lockwood. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know if he is or isn't, but there are Lockwood bodies. Uh, in is he bleeding? I, I don't Arisha, know. He bled. I would he, assume he's bleeding. He did, yeah. There's a blood stain. So, he's that... bleeding. He's had some kind of curse. Alright, so that proves otherwise. Wait a hmm. minute. If he's using... Uh, whatever you call them, lock wood bodies. Uh, the body, the wooden bodies. Yes. Could it possibly be that uh, the person that went missing, he took her, because she was the lock wood that we were after. Well, the, no, the elf. we we were after oh. Marcus. Who Marcus, people yes. assumed was a lock wood. He's not That's... a lock wood. He's just cursed with immortality. Yeah, but then someone goes missing along at that same time. 
coincidentally. Yeah, and they're not so a Lockwood. So that person either. could be a Lockwood that. How do you Marcus know that they're not a Lockwood either? Well, I don't know. Here. How do you, how do you know? I don't. Well, I don't. I mean, I'm just saying, call me a conspiracy theorist. I'm just trying to put something together. Hold on. Try to communicate with her and ask her if he knows about the disappearances. Uh, all right. Russian, if you're hearing me, try asking him if he knows about this appearance that happened recently about some elven woman after the party. Did did the body that fell on me match the match like sort of of sort of like elvish shape? No. It was a bit no. shorter. The okay. the one disadvantage that I will say that you guys will come across if if you find yourselves in a situation again or ever kill a Lockwood is that any of the more humanoid races who don't have a dis fully distinctive feature, horns, all that stuff, their bodies are ubiquitous. The only thing you'd be able to get is maybe the slight shape and the height. That's about it. So if someone Fun. said these three people have gone missing and they're all 5'9", you'd have a hard time telling which person you found that is missing off of a Lockwood body that's 5'9". So there was a dragonborn body and a tabaxi body, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, Oresh elves is... have pretty pointy ears, but I'm going to guess... The, the thing about ears is they like, aren't connected um, by bone. It's cartilage. I know, that's what I was going to yeah. say. Like, yeah. the, on, a, on a wooden body, it might be rounded out for sake, uh, purpose sake. Well, we found a tabaxi body of a Lockwood. There's that. And then there's also a dragonborn body of a Lockwood. And then there is one that you can't really tell what it is. So it's human or elvish it's not like it's not tall tall but it's not short short either uh. Oresh is gonna lean down towards Marcus and be like do you know about a disappearance of a elvish woman uh, there was a Jocelyn at Gillies he was on a private list but I I don't know anything about her Hmm. Well, bro, imagine getting the private about... room at Long John Silver's. So you're saying these Lockwood bodies, their organs or whatever you're trying to harvest from them, could possibly cure your curse? That's what I was told by someone, but it hasn't worked. I've tried. I've tried Dragon What's the name of this I've tried person? Tabaxi. I can't remember. Can we go in now? Oh, Arash is going to look towards Alistar and just like gestures for him to get the other ones in. Well, there's other people in there. I don't he know gives, if it's okay for us. He gives a nod, and as he's passing by, he like he doesn't crack like the chain like a whip, but he pulls it tight around his arm, like 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 his hands as he looks down at Marcus. All right, now, Marcus, uh, where I'm going to cooperate with you if you're going to cooperate with me. Uh, uh, of, of course. You don't try to run. You don't try to scream. You just answer my questions, and I'll probably leave you alone. I can't die, but I don't. Uh, my leg's gonna be out of work for a while as he like motions. He doesn't motion, but he like tries to like move his like left foot where you've stabbed it. Also, does your body heal itself? Only if it's grave or would kill me. Oh, interesting. Thoughts. Should I just should I just lop off the leg so it has to heal itself? Um. I mean, you could, but it would hurt like hell. To the oh, meat yeah, grinder to just for him to reform again. <laughs> Flips it through a meat. Oh, Jesus. We do a little trolling. <laughs> Don't put him in a meat grinder, dude. You hear, you hear the slimy, like... <laughs> he reconnects like moist. a Lego man! 
<laughs> I, I was thinking more like spaghetti, just kind of flailing around till it forms a body again. Oresh is gonna like take her short sword and is gonna take it out of the. It's gonna like pull it out of the ground and is gonna like get up off of him and is essentially gonna point her short sword toward him and like move him over to like a chair or something for him to sit down. All right. Uh, you so, helping. you don't remember who, but you remember that you do have a curse. I can't die. It's been... It's always been there for some reason. How long have you been like this? I don't know whatever caused it. I can't... I don't want to try to think about it. My head just hurts, and I, and I can't. This man got memory waterfalled. What was the name of that that snake thing that I made a spirit contract with? Um, Seraph. Oh yeah, Seraph. Yeah, I also I made a Seraph con if he knows anything about like Lockwoods. Oh, Seraph. What voice did I give Seraph? Holy it shit! It was like I don't a know. low voice, like not not like that. It but... was a low voice like this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What is it that you want? Do you perhaps know anything about Lockwoods? Lockwoods, Lockwoods. I've met a couple beasts who had been replaced by Lockwoods. I can't say there's something I would consider in my circle as a legitimate creature or beast of worship. Hmm. Now, what about uh, curses? Just specifically about, like, immortality. Could have committed a grievous sin. Could have failed in stopping something that could have saved many. Could have been a self-inflicted curse. There are... Mm, you could probably find them in books and whatnot of alchemists who have figured out some way the mortality, but are forever stuck that way without any way to fix it. As something that mm. lives and breathes off of people listening to it and taking its and taking its ideals to their heart, like an eagle to the sky, I can tell you that immortality isn't the funnest thing in the world. Hmm. Interesting to know. Well, you've been very helpful. I think I'll leave you alone now. I think you were. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my, my brain. What? My brain was comprehending <laughs> the next set of words he was going to say, and I thought it was really funny. <laughs> You can was imagine funny. anytime talking to Seraph, it's like waking up your grandpa to ask him a dumb question. <laughs> you you pull the blanket off of grandpa. <laughs> Mr. Seraph. You, you the zombie groan noise. Grandpa Seraph. <laughs> Seraph. Are you. you dead or just asleep? <laughs> Are you dead or just asleep? You haven't moved in a while. Why am I <sighs> gone? I sleep for thousands of years at a time. Okay. Grandpa's having one of his naps again. <laughs> Staring at for a millennium. <laughs> it's, a, it's a picture of Grandpa on the ground next to like a bowl he dropped before having a heart attack. <laughs> Grandpa, <laughs> when are you making dinner? After my Grandpa nap. holding. Oh, a millennia without food nap. again. <laughs> <laughs> Sad SpongeBob face. <laughs> wait, wait till my show's done. <laughs> wait till he's, my show's done. He's watching the entirety of Seinfeld. <sighs> I'll do it after this episode. He's doing a marathon. He's doing a marathon. <laughs> Dude, okay, I gotta, I, I gotta say this. Watching Seinfeld in a marathon is like, it's maddening. <laughs> you go insane. Yeah, you do. I can imagine. 
I once tried it. I was like, I'm gonna watch the entirety of Seinfeld. Anyway, I, can't I that assume everybody's episodes. like coming up into the yeah, room yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. 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 Uh, so Alistair leads you upstairs. Uh, Alistair leads you upstairs. Alistair looks a little. He looks like if he closed a door, the door would break. Like he looks like he would just break a door if he closed it. He's angry. He doesn't. He doesn't get his paycheck. So that's the person. Yeah, there's Marcus, and you can see yes. the bodies. What the? Also, do you, uh, also you can tell that I cut off his head by that giant blood puddle yeah, right by a, the door. Yeah, there's a good, there's a pretty big blood puddle right by the door. So you weren't lying about that. Nope. Also, another... and his head reattached, like I don't know. Also, another thing. If he, so, how do we know that he didn't kidnap this person? The uh, it's elf? just a, just a yeah. I mean, I only see three bodies, and how how many recent kidnaps have there been? Uh, he only said that like it's the normal rate of disappearances. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like normal a normal rate of disappearances. Spike. Uh the... I mean, the guard did say like it hasn't happened in a few months or something like that. Yeah. Oh also, if this per if we if uh these old bodies here were possible other people, then this means this guy here is a serial killer. Hmm. Well. No matter if they were Lockwood or not. Hmm. I'm more curious about what we should do about Marcus. Yes, that's what I was saying. Marcus. Because he kind of points to He's Lockwood. He's not a bodies. Lockwood. But is his organs a Lockwood? Uh... I don't think he's very willing to opening him up, and I mean, I could. You just know, he's gonna forcibly live. open him up. Well, he'll live. That's true. He will live. So I don't think a bit of disemboweling to check might not hurt. Marcus well, does not look us. happy with what he's hearing. <laughs> oh, be curious. Oh. Don't well, shut up. What does your morality say about opening up this person? He is a serial killer. No, yeah. Carius. Wait, what? Well, well, what do you say about opening up this immortal being? Op what do you mean, opening up? Uh, Look wait, inside disavow of his organs him to, to check see, and if, see if he's like Lockwood or like part Lockwood or something. Ugh. I mean, he is a serial killer, so you can throw your morality out the window. But he is a serial killer. I mean, it's still, like, highly debated whether Lockwoods are, like, actual people or just, like, imitations of the people. It, it's rather an interesting topic. If I stomp a thousand puppies, am I a puppy killer? Yes. Yeah. There yeah, we go. Yes. If I, if I slay a thousand souls, I am a serial killer. Does it matter if they're flesh or wood? I didn't know you could kill cereal. What the fuck is a cereal? He doesn't know chat room. <laughs> cereal hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not gonna pull. I'm not gonna pull one of those things. Corn flakes. Yeah, corn, corn flakes, flakes are more like grits. Yo, I'm be I'm very straight up honest. More like oats. grits with cheese and eggs, delicious. Bro. They probably have honey nuts. They have they they have honey nuts. They don't. Sure? They just don't have the Cheerio part. Marcus wants us to cut him open. No, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't look very privy to it. But who cares what I say? What do you say, Marcus? Uh, what do you think, Marcus? I would like if you didn't. So, well, who cares what you think? So you Alistair, think, Alistair looks at you, you Heinrich. Think? Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> mm. Naomi, what do you think? 
Yeah, Naomi, you've been very quiet since your birthday. <laughs> it was not my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you've been very quiet <laughs> since you turned 14. I can't believe our little Naomi's in her emo phase already. <laughs> Her first words as a 14 year old. I'm not 14. <laughs> I'm not 14. This is going to be a running joke for the entire campaign. Yeah. To get used to it. <laughs> it is. I'll wait for her 15th. I'm going to make 15th. sure to note the date down just in case. Yes. Uh, anyway. Family, forgive for me. I'm just going to try to take on one of the daggers I have. Like I did bring like a oh. spare dagger with me just in case, and then just Are you a surgeon? Do you want me to cut him open or not? I mean, I could have done it myself. I didn't want you to like destroy your own morality. Here, just take it. <laughs> Oretta's oh, so... like not even gonna take his dagger. She just summons her assassin's brand. Mm. He's gonna walk over to him and he's gonna like put morality. it like over his like chest. I have so many questions. Hmm. Also, just in case, Oresh is gonna like essentially like take one of her four arms and is gonna like press it into his mouth so he can't scream as loud. Unless there's a step ahead of you, he's like got the chain like in the man's mouth already. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oresh is then going to just slowly open him up. Just oh, look at those wooden yeah. bodies over there. The area where the heart is has been carved out. The first one, which is the tabaxi one, is, to put it bluntly, way more crude. Like, it looks as if someone has taken more of, like, an axe or some way less precise thing than a knife or a proper, like, cutting tool to it. The dragonborn looks roughly the same, but there's a lot more care put into it, and the most recent one is... A lot is really clean. Like, it looks like it took a lot of time, and there's almost no blood or whatever is left on the body, that sort of thing. Do, do the local bodies have, like, ears on them and stuff? Um, the tabaxi one does. Oh. Bomber. The hmm. dragonborn one doesn't, but you know how lizard ears are, anyways. They don't really have them. They just kind of got. Yeah, holes. I'm talking about the more like humanoid one. The humanoid one does not have ears, no. Ah, rats. So you th really did think that these Lockwoods held the key to break immortality? Hmm. Wait. Maybe. If that's what he was told by someone that he doesn't remember. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna, like, maybe send a query, like, grab a hold of, like, the, uh, since I'm still, like, my clothes, I'm gonna grab a hold of the handle behind my head for the sword. I'm even gonna ask Frederick for, like, a quick tip. See, like, any good ways to break curses. Uh, Frederick. Kind of Come just you know, kind of Frederick. Frederick kneels over this question for a moment. Well, partner, I'd reckon if you were gonna break a curse, you'd have to figure out how it was given to you and how and why it was given to you. Given to you, if you were cursed uh, with being a frog, why were you turned into a frog? If so, correct that rat. Immortality would be a tricky question. thing, though. Yeah, I agree with hmm. that. Not working with a lot of you. This crazy guy tried to slaughter the Lockwoods, trying to think that that would solve the curse. <laughs> ah, there. that old myth. People curse with that, cling to that like it's as if it'll keep going. Something, something Sorry. about the definition of uh, crazy down there. As <laughs> Frederick does his best, given his circumstances, to look to Marcus. All right. Well, thanks for the tip, buddy. I like that curse. <laughs> you believed in that old myth, didn't you? Oh, man. I don't know what old myth. Are. Oh, there's a myth that goes around that Lockwood Hawks possess the arcane properties to break curses, even extreme ones like this. But... Riley. Mm. What? 
I'm What's fighting that? a Pokemon named Sandy Shocked, bro. You can't tell me that's not a Fortnite location. Sandy Shocked. Shut up. It's Sandy Shocked, bro. What does that mean? I'm literally... I'm, I'm thinking I'm, more Sandy Cheeks. I am literally in Rusty Reels eating small fries with defaults right now, brother. I do not care. But also funny. Tee hee hee. Oh, it's just a fucked up magneton. Okay, uh, that's weird. But, uh, Oresha, as you cut him open, he does have normal organs. He is a organic being of flesh. Ah, uh, great. Okay, look. It was an old myth perpetrated by those of questionable integrity to try to get rid of Lockwoods and try to fetch a good prize for their heart. Ah. But in all reality, it doesn't do anything. Besides, you know, make you a murderer. Also, I did learn something from Seraph. Uh, hmm. To gain this sort of curse, you would have to do very atrocious actions. That's true. And the only way we could know how to break this curse is know how he got it in the first place. Yeah, but he doesn't remember that. Well, hmm. that's weird. He must have... Oh, it must have been crazy bad if he had a whole memory oh, Russia, wipe. make me a... How are you doing this? Are you trying to be, like, an actual doctor? Or... Uh, just, like, opening him up? Oh, yeah, or are you treating him like you're descaling a fish? Uh, I'm essentially treating him like I'm descaling a fish. Yeah, once you get to where he, you he can... can't die, yeah. so... Well, once you get you can see all his organs, most of the ones that aren't connected or have some le connection or loose, i.e. the intestines, stuff like that, basically just fall out, like slop onto the floor. Before moments later beginning to slowly go back into the body as if they have their own mind and the uh, bit of... And most of the wound on his stomach now is sealed up. But there's a bit that you could tell if you were to like pull hard enough, all of that ceiling would just be undone. Mm. In fact, there's multiple bits like that on Marcus. There's bits on his arms, his shoulders. There's plenty on his head and such, and even from what you can see of his legs uh, through. Uh, by Wait, what do you mean ceiling? Like it scars over. Oh. But there's a lot of stuff like that on him. You can even see almost on one of his eyes, there is a very, very large and prominent mark where you can imagine uh, some sort of blade had gone through. Robert's going to take a closer look at his eye. It's still just an eye. I mean, it still works clearly. Like, it's clear Marcus's vision isn't affected by it. And all, from what you can tell, Marcus, Marcus is perfectly healthy. Oh, any organs of Lockwood? Mm, no, nothing out of no, the order. He's Heinrich, all of you man. saw his organs like slop onto the floor pretty much. Ah, he is a normal cursed man who, ah, poor bastard was told well, wrong things to try to break a curse. And they put out a deeper hole. Well, um, may I ask where did he put those hearts afterwards? Where did they go? Uh, don't you usually have to eat them? I hate to say it like this, but Lockwood Heart suspiciously Lockwood Heart shakes shaped stomach. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where yeah, he went. Oh. Yo, this MF in, out here getting his daily dose of fiber. By bro, eating. just got like it's sixty so more based. health, bro. He only needs like a couple more life crystals. Mm. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> So you're I telling me you have to eat the Lockwood hearts or something of the other? Marcus That's is looking kind of away at you besides being recently brought back to life pretty much uh, and just kind of nods his head in shame. Oh, oh it's disgusting! You ate a wooden heart? My favorite little freak. No, I don't think they're made of wood. I think they're a lot squishier. Like That's actual hearts. Wood. No, they're... They're, they're like organs. So I've got another question for you. Why exactly do you th did you th think that Lockwood Hearts would fix this problem? 
I guess he was mine. told by someone, don't know who. If you could change your body entirely or turn into something else, I don't know if a curse could follow through that. I've read books and books and books on the matter, and in some cases it worked, and in some cases it didn't. I think it has to do with whether the curse is bound to your soul I feel like or that, to your that, body. That should just be you trying to transfer yourself to a Lockwood body. Seems like you have enough money to... Not for... eating part of a uh, lot. Have you tried, um... I wouldn't say killing yourself, but, like, have someone cut your head off and put that head somewhere where it's impossible to get back to your body? No, oh, I've tried and What tried does happen when you die? Tried. Like, he's done everything he could if he's getting this desperate, uh, Heinrich. I'm gonna pause I'm the recording, quite but Neo grabbed in then. Unless you guys are gonna ramble to each other for a little bit, in which case I will not pause the recording. Uh, do you guys want to ramble with each other? I don't know, How about we some dick? eviscerate this yes. man, set him I mean, on what? fire? Yeah, I'm not what gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, stop the recording. Well, okay. Wait. All right, guys, start saying yeah, this... slurs now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we set this man on fire to have him perpetually in pain forever. I've got a question, Carius. What do you think happens when someone dies? There is no answer. Exactly. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Not a Carius is an atheist. Carius oh. did die. No, I'm here. I'm still here. What do you think seen... happens when it, when someone dies, Carius? Hmm. Well, their soul passes on to somewhere else. I guess what you... about you, Heinrich? Why are you asking me this? It's just, just a curious question. I'm just curious. I mean, I kind of believe the same thing. Nami, what about you? He's currently playing Pokemon, so he isn't thinking. Yeah, currently playing Pokemon. Can't think. I can't think, lol. <sighs> Even though Pokemon's an easy game. Why couldn't why couldn't we have done something like I I don't know, maybe stop a gang of bandits or uh, I would This is a very doing, complicated situation. I would have I would have been fine with doing guard duty. Sort of, I kind of agree. Whose idea was this? <laughs> oh Rachel looks towards this is Heinrich. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I was the one that could read the uh, read the quest. He just brought it to me, so it's kind of both of our faults. But at the same time, I did suggest we do it, even though we kind of knew what it said. Yeah. Uh, Actually, no. We got we got a place to meet, and they would explain us about the quest, and then we got there, and he told us that we were hunting a Lockwood. Or organ harvesting. Uh, organ, ha uh, organ harvesting a Lockwood. This is this clearly isn't a Lockwood, so we're clearly not getting paid what we're supposed to be. Yeah, that is. I'm gonna guess why he is. But he points to the to the man. I forgot the name. Who was the person that Riley was playing? Not Marcus. Alistair, smiley face. Alistair. Oh my oh, God, hi. there he is. Yeah, Alistar, point to Alistar, I think that's why he's mad. Because he knows we're not going to get a payday today. Alistar scoffs at you. If you think that's the problem here yeah, with me, then you're a little... Uh, you're looking a little uh, green with greed yourself. I'm not trying to be greedy. I'm trying to get off this island. You could have done... Other things to get some money. Mm -hmm. This just so happened to be mm. a quicker way. So how? So what exactly are we going to do in this situation? Yeah, we don't have man. what we want, and we can't kill him. He's immortal. Yeah, and yes. we can't harvest his organs because they slot back into him. 
Yes, and if we leave, who knows where he might let the word out to, and we might find all of our heads on pikes. Fuff. Uh, well. So we have to find a way to make him mortal again. Just so he doesn't snitch on us. I say we just hmm. drop him in the ocean with concrete on his legs. He'll mm. find a way to possibly pull the ropes off. Probably break his own legs just to slip out. Marcus, uh, what exactly have you tried to, like, end your own life? Tried, I don't know. Wait. The drowning... Self-immolation... Drowning? I threw myself in a volcano once. Oh! If you tried to cross the with a very large stone... Wait, how did you survive that? When you can't die, Probably. you can make process... You can make things moment by moment. Climb off rock that seems to just scrape away more skin. Oh. Probably crawled out of the skeleton so, and had his flesh kind so of So you honestly back cannot him. remember who bestowed the curse upon you? How long ago was this? If I could... Oh yeah, that really would, but I don't... As for the oh. time, I, I think it's been, I don't know, 5, 10, maybe 20 years now. Hmm. And have you grown a day older since? Marcus shakes his head. He looks to be around twenty, like twenty-two ish. He, he no. looks he looks youthful, basically. All right, so aging ain't gonna kill you. Well, I if you can try, I know it might hurt, but if you can try to remember, we might be able to break it. But the only way we could break a curse if we know its origin. We could break it for a price. Mm, we could. Might not be as... But... Remember our mission? Well, my mission is to get off. I don't know what any of yours are. I know you, points to Russia, are wanting to try to track down the person who blew up the boat. True. Uh, Naomi. Uh, uh, to be honest, I, I don't know what hers is. You know what? I don't know what any of your plans are. We're just a group going together because we have a similar idea. Seemed interesting. Anyhow. <laughs> Trying to think in my mind if there's like any like wizards in town or any like clerics that are good at like dispelling curses. Oh, sorry, I just saw something. Uh, what? Have you not tried to just how to remove these people who could evoke curses? Yeah, I've, have it. I've have been from here to Kelvia trying to do that sort of thing, but no one has ever found a way. Try to find wow, you've way. been busy. Oh, God. You don't really know this much. He's, he must be a, he must have been alive for a few decades with this curse. He just said he's been he had it for twenty years almost. Yes. He looks quite young. Oh, as... did he? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I okay. Yeah, my okay. 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 To be fair, with how for no, actually, I won't say anything. I'm silly. I'm goofy. Oh. Uh... What no, we to can to do... totally spoil it. Spoil it right now. Yeah, say some shit, pussy. Come on. Shouldn't we do a rush of dad and I'll spoil it? Oh wait. Huh? Do what? Uh, anyways, it is two hours and sixteen nineteen minutes into the recording. Damn. We'll stop it I'm there. guessing we tune in next time. Yeah, next time I'm gonna have on to... Dragon Ball. Next time on Dragon Balls, 
Um, next time on Dragon Mind face. Balls on your on your <laughs> on your seas. We rate Melek. We what what? We rate uh. Melek. Oh, okay. I just making sure you, I heard what you I said. I will okay. fucking kill you. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, yeah. Uh, next time, uh, they will question Marcus probably more. Uh, for now though, this will be up by. Uh, I'm probably gonna schedule it for tomorrow. Honestly, anyways. Yeah. Next time. Um. Yeah. Uh, we are for the people on YouTube. We are also available on Spotify. So if you you're available on Spotify, yeah, Whoa. yeah, that's crazy. I'm available on Spotify. Um, Shameless we're sponsored by Spotify, guys. No, we're not. We're not Spotify. This is sponsored, sponsored by JRWY, an incredibly powerful podcast. <laughs> I swear to God, we're <laughs> not going to give them any more free clout. No, I'm kidding. We're not giving them any more free clout as is. Free clout. Also, hold on, Riley. Remember, um. What wizards of the coast are doing? Wizards of With this a... dick. Fuck off. Don't care. <laughs> if we should get wizards, wizards make enough money, which we are not, we're never gonna make money off. This. That whole money thing that. got canceled. Right now, they're going to a Creative Commons license, which they'd have to fight in court to change if they fully go through with them. Nice. Woohoo. Uh, anyways, D and D is no longer your imagination. Wizards of the cock. Uh, anyways, yeah, we are available on YouTube. For the people on Spotify, for people on YouTube, we're available on Spotify. Um, Spotify. None of these people have socials I can give a shout out to. Um, look up Lore Innovator on YouTube. Yeah, that's that's my friend cool. Orion's channel. I'll shout him. Um, he's Orion? like a gamer or something. Yeah, he's like a gamer or something. You would not believe it. Who's don't Orion? watch his old videos. No, no watch them. <laughs> he'll be really he, he'll be really embarrassed. Yeah, he'll be like puts hands together. Why did you why did you do that? You know. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's the episode. See you guys uh in two weeks. Yep, 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 yep.